Hi, Aquarius. So we're doing things real, I'm going to say that, we're doing things really intuitive for this month. We will talk about the planets as needed. I think that if we focus too much on what's going on in the cosmos and not enough of the energy to help you push forward, um, it it just it becomes too much you you get excuses right if we focus on the things that we can't change which is the way that the, the energy in the cosmos is going we can't change that that's not out of that's not in our control um so we're not going to focus on that we're going to focus on you being in a place we've talked about being on pause before and I know that you've sort of felt like that for a while. And you're like, Betsy, I've been really trying to get out of this. I've been really trying to get out of this. I've been really trying to get out of this. Um, I will tell you um, the self-alignment course that I'm offering on October 5th. It's Saturday, October 5th. That self-alignment course, um, we're going to go over all of the reasons because there are six points to why we are not able to manifest what we want to manifest. And um, it because it's become a very big theme. Man, you have all major arcanas except for one card so far. Two cards. And the reason why this last card came out is because you don't believe, it's too, it's too good to be true. What I'm about to say to you, because things are changing very, very rapidly in your life. Things are going to start moving forward. And I don't mean that it's going to change from one day to the next. It very well could for some of you. But um, life and existence and the things that you've been focusing on and the pull that you've had and the hurt and the pain and like all the stuff for so very long, totally shifting. But if you don't believe it, and if you're not able to digest what I'm going to say to you, then you might want to come back in a couple of weeks <laughs> and watch the video again and be like, oh, that's what she meant. Or you can be a part of the self-alignment course and get this movement, this energy starting for yourself. So all of that information is in the description box or just go to my website So we have the hanged man, the magician, the nine of cups, strength, the wheel of fortune, and the five of swords. We could be talking about a Pisces, a Virgo, Gemini, or a Leo. However, um, this top row is very interesting. I, I almost want to say that you've come to the conclusion, like you have settled into the idea of being on pause. This hanged man makes me feel like, you know what, I've been stuck in this position for so long that I'm almost like it's almost comfortable now, even though this is an extremely uncomfortable position to be in. You're like, you know what? It's comfortable now. I've gotten so used to it. I'm going to manifest from this space of being upside down. And then, and when I'm upside down, I, I can't really control anything. So I'm going to manifest from the space of not being able to control anything. And that's what the magician and the nine of cups are saying to manifest, manifest from a place of contentment, from where you already are. If you want more in your life, be grateful for what you currently have. If you cannot be grateful for what you currently have, how do you, because every time we want more and every time we want more and every time we want more, because like we'll get more and they'll be like, oh, well, that's not enough. I could always use more. It's like the new iPhone, right? Constantly a new iPhone coming out because people always want more. Always more, always more, always more. But when you manifest from a place of not of, of it's almost it, it's not even apathetic you're just like you know what I've done it's like you've finally come to the realization 
that you can only do so much. And after that, it's really not up to you anymore. Some of you don't yet believe this, though. And I'm going to say maybe a majority of you don't yet believe it. And this being upside down has kind of given you a strength. Um, and that's how the energy shifts with the Wheel of Fortune. That's how things start going in a new and better direction with the Wheel of Fortune. Because you sat back and you were like, I manifested and... And that's, the, that's, the, that's one of the keys to doing it, is to being able to do that. And if you don't find, again, if you don't find yourself being able to do this right now, or even believing that you're able to manifest from the state of where you are right now in this moment, take my self-alignment course. It's, a, it's like a fraction of what it would be if it was a one-on-one -on -one with me. It's like a quarter or even a fifth of how much it would be for a one. I mean, it's... It, it, and it's an extra hour long that you, I mean, you can learn how to manifest good things into your life and bring good things into your life. And with the five of swords, you're like, I don't believe it. You keep lying to yourself and telling you that it's not, telling yourself that, like, this isn't, how is this possible? This isn't possible. How am I going to be able to do this? I don't think so. Let's see what the hanged man is. Let's get some clarification on this hanged man. I gotta get a drink. It's very interesting when When you allow yourself to just kind of relax, do you see that? Just sort of relax into the energy. How things can, can turn around. And what here's the interesting thing, though, Aquarius, is you don't want to come from a place of a lack mentality, of thinking that you're never going to get more. The more you push and the harder you work towards always wanting more and always wanting more and always wanting more, or the, or the more you push, even if you don't want more, even if there's just one thing that you really want to manifest in your life, everything else is perfectly fine. The more you focus on how you don't have that thing, the more you push it away. So, with the magician, let's just see. And I'm curious as to what that five of pentacles would be for you guys. You have to think about that too. Is it money? Is it a relationship? Is it everything all encompassing that five of pentacles because that's why you were placed in a suspended state to begin with because you had a lack mentality and when you have a lack mentality the five of pentacles the five of swords both are lack mentalities and when you have that the universe is like all right we'll just sit right here we're going to put you in this position and you're not going to like it and it's going to be really really uncomfortable but it's for your own damn good because then you can realize, I have zero control. I've done everything that I can. Now I have to release it into the universe. And that's where you manifested moving forward. Or that's where you're going to manifest moving forward. With the chariot. Now you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Who is a little manipulative. That's what I'm hearing. But um, I feel like,
for some of you, you're actually manifesting moving, like moving locations, like energetic locations, or you're like making it happen or you're working on it or you're building up to it, right? For some of you, the chariot is needing to go on vacation or needing to take a trip. And for some of you, it's just moving forward on your journey. And maybe even realizing with the magician there um, what your gifts are. This nine of cups is the wish card, right? But it can also represent overabundance. It can represent overabundance or being content with what you have. Sort of depends on what card clarifies it. Oh, okay. No, this is being content with where you are. Although, I feel like some of you um, had to go through a pretty massive ending in some way in order for that Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups, because the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups together actually makes the Ten of Cups, if you think about it. If you add that Ace to those nine. But the way that you're gonna be able to get everything that you want in life is if you love, if you really f recognize who you are and love yourself completely. But it had to come after something that was really, really painful. Sometimes I look at the Ten of Swords as going to the worst possible case scenario, but I feel like in this position right now, this is all about what had to leave in order for you to feel better about yourself. Even though at the time you were like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. I don't feel better. I don't feel better. Over time, you started to recognize, oh, that's why I had to be on pause. That's why I had to be in a lack mentality. That's why, you know what I mean? That's why this thing had to end because I had to see to believe. You know? Which is really funny because for you guys, you don't actually have to see to believe, but I feel like some of you have convinced yourselves of that. Like that's what you were programmed to believe. You guys are very open-minded. You guys are very innovative, very extremely um, intelligent individuals. So you don't really have to see it to believe that some there's more out there for you. You don't actually have to see it to believe it. But I do feel like some of you are having to go through that. There, you're you're having to see it to believe it, and um, you could only gain the strength to move on and to move forward and to keep going after you lost everything. And it was like you couldn't just lose a couple of things in your life; it had to be huge. Because if we just lose a couple of things, then we can like fix it, right? We can cover it up with something and then move on. But with this tower on the strength card, the only way that you're going to find the strength within yourself, Aquarius, is if you lose everything. And I'm not even saying that lightly because it's happened to me. Like, I've been through that. I get it. I understand. When I say I lose everything, I mean I lost relationships. I lost my, my environment. I lost my apartment. I lost a lot of things. But that's the only way you can see how strong you are. And so you had to go through this process. And now that you've gone through this process, the energy is shifting. You probably even gained some things in, in the middle of all of this and then lost it again. And that might have been because you didn't really learn the lesson or you didn't really listen to what the universe was guiding you, like what direction you were supposed to go in. You know, it's like you thought you had to go, you thought you were supposed to go one way and you ended up going a complete other way. I don't feel like that tower is this month. 
I feel like the tower has already happened to you. For some of you, it's still happening. But now, after this tower moment, and this can happen quite a bit. Maybe you went through a tower moment two years ago, then maybe you went through a tower moment again sometime this year. Right? And, but after every single tower moment, usually when something really negative or really bad is happening in our lives or something, or, or a whole bunch of negative or bad things happen in our lives, it's like something really good is just on the backside of it. And it, I don't know, I, I, I don't know all the answers. I don't know why it works that way exactly, but that's my whole life. Everybody has always, um, is always the kind of person that's like, um, every time something good happens to me, something bad happens to me right after. And I'm like, I'm just the opposite. Every time something bad happens to me, the universe always gifts me with something that's much better than the original thing. Might take a little while sometimes, but it's still there. And I feel like this is just the beginning for you guys. Some of you are going to go back to school or learn new crafts or something like that. Because the Page of Pentacles can sometimes um, represent the student. But there's something brand new that you're doing, and I feel like you're also learning it. And that's where this energy shift is going to be. Because it's going to help build your confidence. And when you feel good every day, you can manifest from a place of feeling really good. But you cannot lie to yourself. And everybody does this, right? With the Five of Swords, everybody does this. Everybody beats themselves up. And maybe this, maybe you're beating yourself up because somebody else said some negative things to you first. And that's, and you believed them. Um, they were lies. Don't beat yourself up. It's going to be okay, I promise. Yeah, and I do feel like this was something that somebody said to you first, and that in turn took you straight to the Five of Swords. Now, Pluto is going direct in your 12th house. It's been in retrograde for about five months now. And that happens on October 3rd. And as Pluto gets going again and gets moving forward again, there's going to be a lot of, like, um, um, did you change? Are you the same person as you were before, or are you completely different, right? Pluto, the tower. This is also represents Uranus. Um, but are you the same person as before, or have you evolved? Have you changed? And if you haven't evolved, it's going to be very hard because you're still going to be in the process of doing this. If you have evolved and you're learning how to come out um, the losing side, the winning side of the loser, right? The winning, do you see what I said there? The winning side of the loser. Um, if you have evolved, it'll be much easier. I feel like there are going to be a lot of um, rising above the confusion when it comes to a relationship. Now, you could be dealing with a Gemini energy. We also have Scorpio here. Um, or even an Earth sign. But this lover's type of connection can be extremely confusing. And in order for you, see, and here's the thing, in order for you to figure all of this out, and I feel like there's, like you're trying to decide whether you want to communicate with this, with somebody or not too. And I think that's really what's confusing you. And I feel like the only way that you're going to feel 100% okay with communicating with somebody that you're really closely connected to is um, if you feel, if it feels right. If you have to ask yourself, should I contact them or not? Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. 
I want to say to probably not do it. I want you to focus more on your stability. And that's the thing, though, you know, if you have to question yourself on what you're doing, then your soul has already made the decision. I don't do anything unless my soul is 100% okay with it, honestly. Seriously. And sometimes I do things for my soul that it, and it hurts, but I know that it was the right decision to make. Uh, and I want you to focus on, yeah, I want you to focus on your stability. I don't want you to focus on going backwards to a place where um, if, you know, if this person wanted to talk to you or you wanted to be, if this person wanted to be in your life, then they would be, you know? But I do feel like because we have this very strange Venus and Pluto square that's happening and um, because of the Venus Pluto square that's happening, there's going to be a lot of karmic activity when it comes around relationships. So I'm just saying that if you if you're if it doesn't feel 100% right, if you have to question yourself and then question yourself again and then you go to do it and you question yourself again, don't do it. You need to feel, and the only way that you're going to feel 100% right about doing something like this is if you get quiet and you ask yourself that question, if you can, if you feel right about doing it, you know? All right, my friends, come join us with the self-alignment course. It's going to be really fantastic and uh, yeah, and if you have not been a part of our, our weekly meditation and Reiki healing circles, you can also register for that on my website. And I am doing very limited personal readings in October because I'm going to be ramping up to do some fun things for the holidays for the channel. Not fun things, but um, new things, I guess. We're going to have the yearly reading coming out as well. So I'll have, I, I just want to let everybody know if you want to get a personal reading with me. Um, get it now so that you can have it scheduled as soon as possible. It's about two weeks, two to three weeks wait time right now. Um, and I hope you're all doing well. Take really good care of yourselves. Bye.